Being able to accurately and consistently set the Z-axis zero point of your shop bot is critical for cutting parts with accurate depths. Fortunately, it's a simple process using the Z-zeroing routine that's installed with the ShopBot software and either a ShopBot Z-zero plate or one you make yourself. Here's all you have to do. It's always a good idea to test the Z-zero plate connections first just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Remove the Z-zero plate from its holder and look at the red control panel in the ShopBot software. The indicator light for the number one input switch should be turned off and look like the red panel below. Now touch the plate to the end of the bit in your router or spindle and the number one indicator will turn on, showing a good connection. When the plate is removed, the indicator should turn back off. Once you're sure everything is working like it should, you're ready to run the zeroing routine. Move the tool so it's over the material you'll be cutting and place the plate directly under the bit. When everything's in place, either click the Z0 button in the toolbar in the ShopBot software or select C2 from the Cuts menu. They both do the same thing. Follow the prompts and the routines will do all the work. The Z-axis will lower until the bit contacts the plate, and when contact is made, the Z-axis will stop moving down and the indicator light in the panel will turn on. The Z will lift again, breaking the connections, and repeat the process at a slower speed to make a second contact. When it lifts the second time and stops, you're done. Most of the time you'll be zeroing on the top of the material that you'll be cutting, but sometimes files are created with the Z-axis zero point at the table surface. If you're not sure, ask the person that created the file or open it in the ShopBot editor and look for any information there. If the file calls, this calls for zeroing the Z-axis at the table surface, just follow these steps with the plate directly on the table before you place your material. More information on using the Z-Zero plate is found in the ShopBot Wiki at www.shopbotwiki.com.